So now we have events, we can then jump in into people profiles. So the user profiles on Mixpanel. And there's a few gotchas here that we wanna kind of be aware uh, when we create profiles. So to start off, we can look here at events and every event has this property which is called distinct ID. So it's actually just a, a unique identifier that Mixpanel assigns every visitor that interacts with your app, your website, or a mobile app. So what identify does is uh, what, what it converts that distinct ID into an ID that makes sense for you. Uh, so that ID might be an email or it might be you know the ID of the user on the database where you're tracking it, whatever it is. It's just something that makes more sense to you. And we do that using two functions. We got mix panel dot identify and mix panel dot alias. Now, mix panel dot alias is equivalent to a registration function, which means it should only get fired really once in the lifetime of a user. So this typically gets attached to some kind of sign up event. So if you imagine you have a kind of very typical web app, you have home, price in, a sign up, and a login page. So you will fire the mix panel alias when someone submits that sign up successfully. And you would just send whatever the new ID that you want it to be. So that new string. So in this case, you know, I'll use an email. And later on, what we what we end up doing later on is we get we simply get the same ID that we use and we identify that user. So Mixman identify will get called when the user logs in. And this actually, the identify kind of persists through a cookie and through sessions. So you don't need to call it every single page. Ideally, you only want to call it when a user logs in. So they when kind of identify themselves to you and then you call it and then it just, that's just a way to make sure that that cookie has been set properly. Now I create this page here called user.html which is just the same thing. And we're gonna call alias to create a user. And then going forward, we can just create identify, right? You never wanna call them at the same time, and you shouldn't, and I'm meant to be. You wanna call one at one point, as they sign up, and the other one at login. Now the alias and identify don't really appear in the real time, in the live view. They appear in the profiles. But to do that, we also need to set uh, something else, which is called people properties. So we'll look at that in the next lecture and set people properties and create our first people profile.